All right. Let's get started. Hello, everybody. My name is Chen Chi Wang from So Simple, uh, start, a startup in San Diego doing auto auto autonomous driving. So today I'm going to talk about um, designing better uh, semantic segmentation network by uh, manipulating, man manipulating better convolution operations. OK, so here is the overview of the current pipeline for using convolutional neural network for semantic segmentation. So given an uh, input image, we will go through a fully convolutional neural network like architecture and output a label map that has a categorical label for all of the pixels. So two important sub-modules in the, in, in the FCN are uh, our first uh, feature encoding, where we usually use dilated uh, convolutions or deeper networks or multi-scale aggregations. Uh, and also there are another important sub-module uh, called it the decoding part, uh, where people usually use uh, bilinear upsampling or deep convolutional neural networks to recover the original spatial resolution of the image. Uh, here in our work, we um, improve both encoding and decoding phase of the uh, of the uh, neural network by d designing better convolutions. So first, in the decoding phase, I will, intru I will introduce a technique called dense sampling, uh, upsampling convolution, or DUC. And for the encoding phase, I will introduce a hybrid dilated convolution, or HDC. Both of them are very simple to implement, and they are very effective. So here is the overview of the DUC. So basically, uh, it's just a normal convolution. There's no uh, new layers or something like that. Uh, so given an image of W times H, and we go through CNNs and obtain a feature map that has a down sample factor of D. And after that, we we'll just go uh, through a normal convolutional layer with channels of D square. And after that, we can just collapse the D square channels to a D times D patch in the output label map. Uh, we do the same thing uh, for all of the special locations in the D square channels uh, of the feature map. And th then we, we can recover the full resolution image of W times H. Uh, so uh, by doing this for all of the classes, we can just uh, use the normal softmax function to get the, cl uh, so the final classification result. So basically, as you can see, we just uh, impl uh, imp implement the uh, upsampling convolution through learning. Basically, we just exchange uh, the channels for the spatial uh, resolution. So basically, the, uh, since all the convolution operations is operated on every pixel, so it's very dense, there's no uh, extra zeros inserted or extra layers like the uh, deconvolutional neural network. And then compare this with the uh, bilinear upsampling, we, uh, where we usually have some, some kind of loss of infor information because uh, of the down, uh, the, the down sampling in the spatial re resolution. Uh, this technique is, will be partic particularly good for uh, the small objects or objects that are very far away. So here's some, some exa examples in the cityscape data set. So as you can see, uh, uh, I mean, here quali qualitatively, uh, our DOC technique uh, can have better performance. Uh, I mean, here is just the visual performance uh, compared with bilinear by, by, by upsampling. However, when you see the quantitative CT result, you can see that it almost outperform, uh, it outperforms almost all of the categories than bilinear upsampling. Also, especially uh, very good for the small objects, for, exa for example, the poles, traffic signs, or traffic lights. Okay, then uh, another technique I, I want to int introduce is just hybrid dilated convolution, or HDC. The motivation is very simple. So basically, like you have seen uh, in the previous talk, uh, the normal dilated convolution that has the same dil uh, dilation rate for all of the layers may suffer from some um, kind of uh, grading effect. Basically, the center uh, red pixel, we can only receive the information from those blue pixels, but not uh, for those white pixels. This will cause some uh, incons inconsistency for the output as well as some loss uh, of, of information. Our technique is, is, is very simple. Basically, we just change the dilation rate of the subsequent layers. In this case, we change the rate from 2, 2, 2 to 1, 2, 1, 3. By doing that, we can have a much smoother result uh, uh, in, in the right figure, as well as um, there's uh, another um, benefit for that is that we can uh, use arbitrary dilation rates across different layers. By doing that, we can uh, I increase the, re the receptive fields uh, in the network and uh, achieve very good performance for the uh, objects that are very big. For example, in the leftmost uh, column, we can see that the we can get much better result for those uh, buses, uh, trains, or trucks. Okay, and we just uh, test our technique on three different data, data sets. So for example, on the Cityscapes, which is a, uh, tech, uh, a very po popular data set for urban driving. Uh, also for Kitty Road, which also does the, the, ro the road segmentation for those, uh, for those red uh, pixel areas. And also the same thing for the particle VOC. Uh, we achieved the state-of-the-art performance at the time of submission for all, for all of them. 
our, our code is actually online, uh, so if you are, you are, you are interested, you, you, can get, uh, you can go to the GitHub to download, all, uh, to download them. Now, I, I want to thank uh, all of my collaborators uh, in Too Simple, and also thank you for listening. If you are interested, you can come to, uh, to my poster at the night. Thank you.